latest edition of Conference Rankings right here at the Voice of College Football. Please like the video, even if you don't agree with me. If you enjoy the content, which is the best discussion, debate, and analysis of college football, please hit the like button, share the videos out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football. See you during our next call-in show. Let's take it from the top in the American Conference. Enjoying a pretty good week here against the Power Five. The American picks up wins against Indiana, courtesy Cincinnati for the second consecutive year over the Hoosiers, 45-24. And UCF says goodbye to Jeff Collins as we do the rest of us here, 27-10. Ole Miss and Tulsa give the Golden Hurricane uh, an applause for keeping it close, 35-27. TCU finally beats SMU. The Mustangs had won that matchup against Texas teams two consecutive years, but this time SMU goes down to the Power 5, 42-34. USF, after the big effort against Florida, can't match it against Louisville, 41-3. to They go down, and then another big matchup, Tulane and uh, Southern Miss. So for the American, now 22-17 and non-conference, 3-14 and against the Power 5. Hey, it's not good, but it's much better than it was a week ago with two more wins against the Power 5 in Week 4. 11 and 2 against their peers in the group of five. So that's a key number right there. The American Conference, 11 and 2 against its peers in the group of five, and 8 and 1 against the FCS. Moving ahead to week five for the American Conference, uh, they get it going on Friday night with Tulane and Houston, but that's a conference game. We're focused on non conference games, and we get only one. One for the Commander in Chiefs Trophy. Navy and Air Force play. Uh, out in Colorado on CBS noon Eastern time on Saturday. On to the ACC performance in week four. Not good. Three power five losses against no wins. It started on Thursday night with Virginia Tech going down to West Virginia 33 to 10. Then we had a couple more losses on Saturday with Miami going down to Middle Tennessee State 45-31. That wasn't even a power five game. That was just the most embarrassing game of the weekend for the ACC and maybe the most embarrassing in Power 5 play this season. Duke lost to Kansas in the battle of 3-0 teams, 35-27 on the road. And there you see North Carolina going down to Notre Dame. Georgia Tech loses as well by 17. And therefore, the ACC drops to 6-8 against the Power 5, 31-11. That's after a 3-5 week non-conference. Not good. 13-3 against the group of five with another loss This past week against uh, UCF and also the other loss coming against, of course, Middle Tennessee State by two touchdowns. The FCS record is perfect. Coming up for the ACC in week five, just the Syracuse game hosting Wagner. So the ACC should be unblemished in non-conference play coming up in week five. And of course, we've come to the point in the season, very few non-conference games. On to the Big 12 and three nice little out of conference wins. It started on Thursday night. The aforementioned West Virginia win over Virginia Tech, TCU over SMU, and their Kansas over Duke, 35 27. So the Big 12 is now 25 5 non conference. That's impressive. 7 4 against the Power 5. Impressive. Group of 5, 10 and 1, and a perfect FCS record. Coming up in week 5 for the Big 12. All conference games for the Big 12 and the big one right there, Oklahoma State going to Baylor. Let's move on to the Big 10 and not a good season of non-conference performance from what is supposed to be the second best conference in college football. On this weekend, we had very little. Penn State beat Central Michigan in unimpressive fashion by 19. Indiana had that loss against Cincinnati on the road. And Northwestern with the embarrassing loss. Now Northwestern has lost to not just Southern Illinois, but now Miami of Ohio and Purdue holds off embarrassment against Florida Atlantic at home, 28-26. So the Big Ten, now 32-10 overall non-conference. That's decent. 5-6 and six against the Power Five is weak considering who they've beaten and whom they've lost to. The 19-3 record against a group of five is usually better. Northwestern has lost a couple games and also Nebraska, of course, and the FCS courtesy Northwestern at just eight and one coming up in week five for the big 10 it's full conference play and of course the headliners Michigan at Iowa congratulations for conference USA congratulations conference USA winning a game against the power five this weekend downing Miami of course 45 to 31 also a nice little win on Friday with UTEP 
Uh, blasting past Boise State in the fourth quarter, 27-10. to 10. Look at that Western Kentucky FIU score. Now, this is completely off our radar here because that's a conference game, but 73 to nothing? Woo! All right, and uh, there you've got Rice losing to Houston out of the American Conference, 34-27. And Charlotte gets blasted. FAU almost pulled off a big upset against Purdue, but could not get it done in West Lafayette. So for Conference USA, it's 18 and 22 non-conference. Finally, a Power Five win at one and nine. Group of five record at nine and thirteen. Not awful, but one and three this past weekend, and they are perfect against the FCS. The Big Ten can't say that. There's the slate for Conference USA in Week Five. Nothing really there of note. Let's move it on. And yes, there it is for the MAC, winning a game against the Power Five and the Big Ten. Miami 17 and Northwestern 14. Great week for the Mac just because of that. And how about everybody uh, keeping up with the Georgia Kent State game just because Kent State was staying in the game? Uh, it was 12 to 10 at one point. They only lose 39 22. Respectable showing for Kent. A bunch of losses to the likes of Kentucky and Penn State and Mississippi State. Nothing to look at here. And a narrow loss by Toledo against San Diego State for the MAC, which is now a dismal 14 and 39 conference, one and 19 against the Power Five. Thank you very much, Miami of Ohio. Four and 10 against Group of Five shows that the MAC is not playing with its peers, and nine and one against the FCS. And coming up in uh, Week Five, the MAC is fully entrenched in conference play, excluding a couple minor matchups against uh, UMass and New Hampshire. The Mountain West having a down season after being arguably the best group of five conference over the past 10 or 15 years, ever since its formation. Not quite up to the American standards in the past couple years, Cincinnati, Houston, and UCF, but the Mountain West has been really strong. Not this year. Not this year. Uh, The week four results back it up once again. There's a loss by Boise State. They're not what they typically are. Wyoming loses to BYU by two touchdowns. San Diego State finally gets it done against Toledo, but uh, the Aztecs not as good as they typically are. And there are the results of San Jose State defeating a MAC team in Western Michigan. So the Mountain West now is 18 and 22. They're usually much better than that overall. One and 16 against a power five. They usually beat up on the Pac-12 a few times. That is just one win by Air Force over Colorado. The group of five record is respectable at 10 and 6. Coming up here in week five, we've got a date against BYU once again as Utah State takes on the Cougars, a game in which they will be a heavy underdog on Thursday. And then the rest of the matchups are in conference, excluding Fresno State goes to UConn and Navy taking on Air Force. Big matchup, of course, for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy on CBS noon Eastern time on Saturday. Checking in on the Pac-12 during week four, all conference games, so nothing to update there. Uh, the Pac-12 now stands at 24-9. and nine. They're still 3-7 and seven against the Power 5, but as you've catched uh, our previous videos, we've outlined how that 3-7 and seven mark is very misleading. The Pac-12 has performed much, much better than that. Group of five record, much better than it's been the past few years, 11-2. and two. And as we check out week five, The Pac-12, once again, plays all conference games. And we finally get a look at UCLA against a decent opponent when the Bruins host Washington on Friday night at the Rose Bowl. On to week four in the SEC. Georgia, of course, looks unimpressive, but beats Kent easily 39-22. But uh, we all expected a 50-point margin there. Mississippi defeats Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa came in with the number one passing offense in college football. And Mississippi State with a big win over Bowling Green by 31 points. LSU wins in a rout as well as South Carolina. The SEC is 36-5. That is by far the best non-conference record. 7-4 against the Power 5. Ties the Big 12 with a 7-4 mark. 20-1 against the Group of 5 is the best in college football as well. Now let's check out Week 5 in the SEC, and all the important games are played in conference. Only a couple of SES affairs with Eastern Washington and Florida, if that game is played and when. South Carolina State at South Carolina. 
Now on to the Sunbelt Conference, and it's been entertaining to track the Sunbelt and watch the games. Shoot, App State over Texas A&M, of course, and scaring North Carolina 63-61. The Sunbelt, with four wins against a Power 5, has played extremely well. Southern Miss with a big win against Tulane. Of course, the Green Wave coming off a win against Kansas State. So Southern Miss with the upset by a field goal. And South Alabama with a major win against Louisiana Tech, 38-14. The Sun Belt is now 24-19 after winning 4-4 four of four non-conference this past weekend. 4-11 against the Power 5. Group of 5 record is 9-8. The FCS record is perfect. Taking a look at Week 5 in the Sun Belt Conference, October 1st play here. No matchups against the Power 5. No major matchups against the Group of 5. A couple games of note. Georgia State goes to Army to take on the Cadets. And, of course, we've got Liberty going to Old Dominion. We've got some changes in our conference rankings heading into Week 5. The SEC is still number 1, but the ACC has plummeted from number 2 to number 5. Why? Miami loses to Middle Tennessee State by two touchdowns. Virginia Tech loses by three scores to West Virginia. Georgia Tech loses to a group of five team, albeit UCF, and Duke loses against Kansas. No significant wins, basically no wins outside the conference for the ACC, and they lose four consecutive games, and some of them should have been wins or closer contests. Meanwhile, the Big 12 continues to play well. They move into the two spot, followed by the Pac-12 and the Big Ten at number four. There's the ACC at five. And the American Conference takes over the number six spot from the Sun Belt with some wins of significance against the Power Five and with the best record by far by Group of Five conferences against the Group of Five. That gives the edge of the American over the Sun Belt. There you've got the Mountain West Conference USA at nine, picking up a win against the Power Five and the MAC at number 10. Although, congratulations once again to Miami of Ohio for defeating Northwestern. There you have our non-conference rankings going into week five. Not too many of these matchups left until we get to bowl season. Your thoughts below right here at the Voice of College Football. See you next time.